This story is interesting because the Secretary of Defense accidentally told the truth out loud and he got in trouble. And what was the truth? Well, here's the truth. We want to see uh, Ukraine uh, remain a sovereign uh, country, a democratic country, able to protect its, uh, uh, its sovereign territory. Uh, we want to see Russia uh, uh, weakened uh, to the degree that it can't uh, do the kinds of things that uh, it has done uh, in, in invading Ukraine. So it has already lost a lot of military capability. So that was always the goal. But he wasn't supposed to say that out loud because the powers that be were afraid it would incite Putin to do even more. Don't say that part. That the point of this was to degrade Russia so they wouldn't have the ability to do to other countries what they did to Ukraine. He wasn't supposed to say that out loud. And how do I know this? Some officials, including Mr. Biden, cringed when Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said in April that we want to see Russia weaken to the degree to the degree that it can't do the th kind of things that it has done in invading Ukraine. The president, get this, the president then called Mr. Austin to remonstrate. That's another word I never heard. To remonstrate him. Look that up. What does that mean? Remonstrate him for the comment, then directed his staff to leak the fact that he had done so. But officials acknowledged that he was indeed the law, that this was indeed the long term strategy. So he didn't say anything wrong. He just wasn't supposed to say it. You know, the worst part, they told Biden he said it while he was on a bike. Ha ha. <laughs> So he reamed him is what it, what it means. <laughs> yes. What does that word mean? Make a forcefully reproachful protest. Make a forcefully reproachful protest. Jesus Christ. So he was remonstrating. He was remonstrating. Pretty and then right. and then Joe Biden leaks it on purpose that he remonstrated him. Sounds like you need a cotex for that. <laughs> He remonstrated him. He, he remonstrated him. So here's what Aaron Maté had to say. Aaron Maté said, when Austin blurted out that the United States wants to use the Ukraine proxy war to see Russia weakened, he was reprimanded or remonstrated. But Biden officials now admit that was indeed the long-term strategy. Luckily, they can count on Matt Duss to market it to progressives. So what he meant by that is Matt Dust used to be the foreign policy advisor to Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, who tuned, who turned super shitty in his last presidential run, would hire guys like this piece of it, Matt Dust. Where is he from? The Center for American Progress. What? You mean, yeah, that, that Center for American Progress. No matter how many Ukrainians die, it will be worth it if we weaken Russia so they can't kill Ukrainians. <laughs> <laughs> Got to spend money to make money, you know? <laughs> That's right. Look, we're committed to keeping this thing going as long as it takes to build out Act 3 of the Ben Stiller Zelensky movie. How about that? It's got no Act 3 right now. We want, a, we want a weak Russia with a strong ruble and cheaper gas prices in America for some reason. That's what we want, and that's what we're getting. On the Ukraine proxy war, Bernie Sanders advisor Matt Duss has lavishly praised what he calls the Biden administration's strenuous diplomacy, judicious reaction, and responsible progressive position. So that's Matt Duss telling lies and propaganda for the Biden administration because he wants a job. Yeah, and what and he's he's saying strenuously. yeah he's saying that the Biden is doing strenuous diplomacy with <laughs> Russia to stop the end the Ukraine war really because the reality is this headline here says Blinken which is the Secretary of State for Biden Blinken Antony Blinken won't meet with Lavrov who is the Russian person he's supposed to be meeting with he won't meet with them they won't even meet with them you know why because they don't want to end this war. The United States wants to keep the Ukraine war going indefinitely. Maybe we'll get another $54 billion grift to the military-industrial complex. Why am I, like, 
in that video too, when they were talking about like, well, now Russia hasn't got its goal of conquering all of Ukraine. I thought when I watched Putin from the clips that I saw in regular news, he said, no, the eastern part wanted to be neutral. And then yeah. The eastern part is the Donbass. So, so they're making up what his goal is at this point. Yes, outright. they're making up. They're trying to make it look like uh, uh, Putin has been waiting his whole life to take over Ukraine or something. And what he wanted to do was stop them killing the people in the Donbass which is the eastern part of Ukraine, and that was after those people wouldn't go along with the coup that the United States helped to institute, which overthrew their democratically elected president and installed someone who's more friendly to the European Union. Yeah, well, that guy was corrupt, not like Zelensky. Not like hero. Zelensky, yeah. <laughs> not like the hero Zelensky. So there you go. That's quite an interesting story. That was, all along, that was the goal. The goal was to try to... Do that to Russia, except Joe Biden was afraid. Mr. Biden did not want to publicly provoke Mr. Putin into escalation. And that is it. So that's interesting. The only time it's a gaffe in Washington is when you accidentally tell the truth. And that's what happened to Lloyd Austin, the secretary of defense. He told the truth about what our policy was in Ukraine and he got in trouble. And now we all know he was telling the truth. <laughs> Hey, get get Secretary Corn Pop on the phone. I want right. to remonstrate him for what he said about it. <laughs> so when Joe Biden was remonstrating, what he was doing was spreading misinformation about the war. Hey, we're going to Sacramento, back here in Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our shows. 